Hi there. It wasn't too long ago when I was tweeting about how I really want to look for short technical books. Uh, you don't really see many of these around. I've got a collection of so many free RStats books that uh, basically um, are quite long usually. Tutorials are sometimes too short as well. Um, but, you know, any sort of technical book that can condense quite a wide topic in a very short space I find quite useful, yet there's very few of them around. Anyway, so it wasn't too long after this post that I saw this one from Lucy Stats, or it's actually Lucy Di Augustino, yeah, um, about covering ggplot2 in under two hours. And this was just, I was just like, wow, I really got to try this. So here's the link. Uh, it's called ggplot2 and 2, learn, learn the ggplot to our package in two hours. I suppose this might be sort of like an unboxing of sorts, um, except what I'll be doing is I'm going to pay for this. As uh, you can see, it is a paid product. I'm just going to pay the recommended or suggested price, and then I'm going to work through it and give you my thoughts afterwards. I won't be sharing the actual content of this book, but what I will be doing is recording my screen while I go through the code. And it'll be just kind of like a one of those fast play videos, just for a little bit of fun. All right, so I'll see you on the other side.
All right, so I just finished uh, this um, ggplot2 two in 2, and it was actually quite good. Um, I accidentally closed uh, R, and uh, as you saw, there wasn't any, I didn't save any scripts or anything, which perhaps in retrospect I should have done rather than going from the command line. But in any case, um, yeah, it was pretty good. I finished it in a little under two hours, although I didn't do all of the, um, all of the uh, exercises. I did just want to get quite a overview of everything. Um, yeah, it was. Uh, I learned quite a lot, um, especially the way you can build up different plots in different ways. I don't can't tell that I'll remember everything or anything, um, other than knowing that things are possible and that it was in this tutorial. And I'll come probably come back and look at. Oh yeah, how did I do? this or that I sort of remember it and then I'll go look through and try to find the solutions so using it as more of a reference is uh, kind of what I also expected um, uh, the, the, I learned quite a lot on that uh, using the scale x uh, continuous and the labeling there I, I had always thought that was actually just uh, for for um, like plots and colors and things but now it actually makes sense um, that you can change the scales and how that's formatted as well what uh, was quite cool was the very last exercise I showed you that I did there was mapping that facet with the gray at the background that was a little bit difficult to find I tried googling but couldn't find much there um, but uh, yeah I, uh, I then um, just actually looked at the solution on the uh, that's uh, hosted on Google Docs so I had a look at that and um, it might have been nice to have a bit of an explanation of that to see how that uh, actually worked but it was really cool um, nonetheless so yeah I think if you're pretty new to ggplot um, it's it's worth a buy I think uh, buy it and go through it my only recommendation is don't run it from the command line I think actually type everything into scripts and run the scripts as you go that way you've got a record um, of everything you did and it will be easier for you for, to reference later which now I don't have <laughs> so anyway all right well I hope um, hope that uh, gives you a little bit of insight and uh, yeah till next time